Thanks guys, welcome into our Hawkeye Baseball pregame show. I'm Mary Kate Herring and joining me is the voice of Iowa Baseball, Zach Mackey. Zach, we are already 26 games into the season. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. Already 26 games in and this is kind of a chance where you can look at where you stack mm -hmm. up, where you sit. Uh, the weather hasn't been that good, yeah. obviously, so you've been playing to the cold, but yet two Big Ten weekends in, got to be pretty happy where you sit. Well, let's start it off. I mean, they had a huge series win against Illinois last weekend and then a win against Grandview 4-2 to two on Wednesday. What are the positive takeaways that you have seen out of this team this far into the season? Well, it was a really good Illinois team ranked in the top 25 of the country, and yet it was three really good games, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even when you got down really big, down by 10 runs on Saturday, scored seven runs in the eighth inning to bring it within one. The tying run was out of the bases. This is a team that is going to fight, and they've been fighting until the very end. Mm -hmm. Picked up two games on the road. That's never easy in the Big Ten, especially against a top 25 opponent. Yeah. And then you're winning the midweek games. Those are ones that you're supposed to win, and yet still able to get that win. All right, well now, pitching-wise, Coach Heller has been trying to use these midweek games to get his bullpen some live action before heading into these important Big Ten weekends. First week, a little shaky, but by the end of this week, we had 13 strikeouts. What do you like about the strategy of getting these guys in the game, even if it's just for an inning? Well, I like it because these guys have to throw a bullpen anyway in the midweek, so why not throw them in a game-like okay. situation, get them some confidence behind there whenever they get out there. And yet, uh, it's a chance to get some guys who maybe aren't going to throw on the weekend some game-like okay. action. And it's been able to work. It's been able to do good things. No one's getting into a rhythm, really, as a pitcher. But yet, you're throwing so many different guys out there. It's throwing off that offense yeah. right now. And, and teams have struggled with it. Yeah, and all the guys talked about, too, after that game, that they really like it just getting in before so they can get loose a little bit before yeah. these bigger games coming up. But here's what head coach Rick Heller had to say on his new midweek pitching game plan. It was really big, and, and that's what we had hoped for today. You know, we did it last week against Bradley, and it was kind of shaky in spots. But it, um, I felt like, you know, as we get into a routine of doing it, it's going to get better, and I didn't want to miss a week. So that's that's why we were really wanting to get this game in today um, was to get those guys back out there. And, you know, that, that was way, way better for them than, a, you know, an inner squad in a, in a batting cage, you know, at this point in the season. Anytime you can get out here and – see live competition, it's it's really good for you and couldn't be more happy with how that game went. You know, 13 strikeouts, one walk, maybe one hit batter, no errors. Um, really, really pleased with how we play and how we played and really happy with those pitchers. Well, Ohio State now this weekend, currently sitting at 19-8 and overall, 2-1 and in the Big Ten. This is going to be yet another tough conference matchup for the Hawkeyes. The team is hitting at 309. The Buckeyes are 11th in the nation and first in the Big Ten in scoring. They also rank first in the conference in batting average, on base percentage, run scored hits and RBI, second in slugging, home runs, and third in doubles and walks. We just talked about Iowa's pitching. How consistent are they going to have to be this weekend to get past them? I feel like a broken record now. We've said <laughs> it week one with Indiana. They were the top team of the mm -hmm. conference, top 10 of the country. Yeah. Illinois was the hottest team in baseball coming yeah. in, having won 15 straight. And now you got Ohio State who's hitting yep. the heck out of the ball. They've won 19 games, only them and Indiana in the conference right now have won mm -hmm. 19 games. And uh, they've been able to do it with their offense. So yep. it'll be kind of interesting to see with the weather this weekend. It's supposed to be cold, not a real nice weekend to mm -hmm. play baseball. What's going to happen is going to favor the pitching staff, obviously, with, with that weather out there. But yet, uh, we'll see. I was hoping to be able to get all three of those in. But uh, again, it's a situation where you're going to have to be able to limit their scoring. Uh, starting, starting pitching's been really good. Yeah. And see if those starting pitchers can't come up big uh, against Ohio State. Yeah, and I mean, you just touched on it. They're, that weather has been awful for the guys. You know, yeah. you had that Illinois when you're watching it on BTN and it's snowing on them. And then this week, obviously, it gets pushed back. So it's now Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, I mean, they all said we're going to have to play harder in the weather. It's going to be rough, but you have to play to it. So, but that is it for us in the sports studio. We have games Saturday, Sunday, and then finish up at 4 p.m. on Monday. Guys, I'll throw it back over to you.